That's good. So welcome back, everybody. Throwing a fantastic New Year's Eve party does not have to be stressful or even expensive. Celebrity party planner Edward Parati says the key is to use the holiday decorations you already have with a few just easy peasy changes. He's here this morning to show us how it's good to meet you. You too. Good morning. So you are kind of you are a party planner, but you don't like that term. Oh uh, yeah, you know when I heard that, the first thing I thought was we don't plan parties, we plan experiences. Which is right? a whole different matter. It's a whole different matter. It's you know. Parties are fun, but this is an immersive experience. It's food, it's decor, it's entertainment. It's you, right? It's You're giving you. And the combination of all the all people of it together. who arrive together. Yep. And so you've thrown big parties all over the world. It, you know, it's not like this is a small thing for you. You're the you're a kahuna in this business. What do you explain? Is Look at that, first of all. Where is this? So that is actually in the opera in Paris. Just a small thing. Just a small no little pressure. thing. Yeah, it was. No pressure. Oh, that one. So that was in Versailles. It was a 60 person dinner, and I wanted to do a modern version of a Marie Antoinette dinner. And you can't without really the ending. Without the ending. Yeah. Um, and you can't really see it, but there's even 60 pink satin tufted bread pillows That's that we had made instead of bread plates. That is so just crazy. This one? So that is uh, Istanbul. That's in Turkey. That's in one of the cisterns that we turned into one of the harems at Topaki Palace. Yes, My as take one on it. does. Of just course, because you know it's harem. simple. And that's a close-up of the tables. The funny thing is the chargers, if you can see them, the gold ones, those are picture frames. Wow. Could not find 800 chargers. Wow, but that's fine. But those I could find 800 great. frames. And this one, obviously so outdoors. That's, yeah, and that's, those are on the islands. That was a concert for train. And what we did was instead of having the seats and the chairs on the table, or the chairs on the table, yeah, the chairs on the grass, yes. right? We just put all the pillows down, we put the rugs down, everybody just sat on the just ground. just took a kind of magic carpet approach to the whole thing. Kind of thing. a modern luau. Um, so how did you get started in this business? Oh, uh, I fell. I literally fell. So I am, I am a child of the theater. Yes. Ah! So, so you had a sense of proportion and costume exactly. and extravaganza. This to me is theater. That's a great there's way a to look at beginning, it. Beginning, a middle, and an end, and there's theatrical elements, right? And there's design, and yes, please. Here's, here's to the beginning, the middle, and the end. What is this? So this is, this is a very important part of New Year's. This is a very important part. Pomegranate Bellini. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our executive producer <laughs> Heidi is across the room going, mmm. <laughs> 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 She's hoping that she gets a taste. Show us what you've brought and how you kind of illustrate using what you have. You've already, you know, it's already the holidays. Right. You've got stuff. Now New Year's rolls around. What can we reuse? Well, so it's and I'm having another sip of this while you drink do. That Take and, it away. And by the way, that so Lisa Dupar, Seattle. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're doing an event up in Seattle, Lisa's great. Lisa is it. So we'll go through the food too. But yeah, when she said that she was thinking about those, I'm like, just bring the bottles. Just, yeah. We'll be Delish. in the green room. We'll be good. Delish. So what's funny is I'm, I'm finding a lot of my friends and a lot of their friends haven't even thought of a holiday yet. And we're right around the corner. Right. I was just in Arizona with my mother for her holiday party and kind of the same thing. And so this whole idea of all right, you know what? You're all stressed. I'm stressed. I'm busy. I know I have Christmas coming, Christmas dinner. I also have New Year's. So what I did, and the idea was, I'm going to rifle through my house because I don't have the time. I'm going to find anchor pieces yeah, that just okay. inspire me. Show right? me what you got for anchor. So my candlesticks. Those are pretty. And these are great because this could do anything, right? Well, you could go Halloween. You could go anything with well, this. Well, and the joys of Velcro. Yes. So there's a little <laughs> bit of Velcro on this. There's Velcro on, on the other right? side. You just switch them out. Yeah. Right? Um, the cement planters. I love these things. Those so, are so cool. And then what I did was, and they got a they got a little smashed this morning, but preserved roses. So these are actually in my office, lined up on a shelf. And you can use them whenever you I want. I can use them whenever I want. And then all you did was pop in a little pop bit of the berries to bring it and the bring in some color and the flocking, and you know, you're there. New Year's to me, everyone thinks black tie, but they err on the side of the gowns and the whole thing. And for me, black tie is menswear. Black and white. Black and white. So bringing in a little bit of the hound's tooth, right? Kind of just That's playing up idea. with it and just everything transitions over. Remove remove the basic decor, mm -hmm. throw that in. Oh, look at this. So there's right. just a t I love this tiny little candelabra. That is so cool. A little local store. It's just, it's keeping your eye open as yeah. just as the years, you know. Throughout the, throughout year, the year. And gather those things See, that can be repurposed. I mean, that was barely $20. Okay. Right? You, and you've put together some lovely plates here, just yes. these small bites and things that make something, elevate something like this. So 
everything, I, I'm not sure about your home when you entertain, but in mine, everyone gathers around the food. Be it the kitchen They're or be at the, the table, kitchen. right? No matter what I do, we're all in the kitchen. <laughs> well, if you tasted my food, you wouldn't be in the kitchen. <laughs> but that's why we have Lisa. But for me, it's also all about simple, right? Don't overthink it. So also, right. you know, if you have your family coming for Christmas and you have a different group coming for New Year's, use the same food. Cross it over, mix it, give it a twist. So, you know, doing some very simple um, beet hummus. Right. Right, for some color. Doing the red, red pepper hummus. And people love this and it's healthy as it's well, healthy, so people easy. don't feel like, oh, this is great, but I don't want to eat it. This is just, what is that? So it's a mulled wine. A mulled wine. Mold, which, well, I'm sorry, mulled sangria. Uh, oh, even better. Yes, right? even better. We can um, have that later. And then... What have you got down here? What is this? Uh, shooter. That, really? So a little soup shooter, just with the weather. And then you have sushi pops, easy yep. to do. And then that is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it is a white chocolate ganache eggnog. Good Lord in heaven. Right? That's just, yeah. Locale. So, <laughs> look out. And so this is part of what you say about don't bother over decorating, worrying about your living room. Just set a beautiful table with some beautiful food well, and you don't have to do the whole house up. Correct. I mean, and it's also, I mean, I look at, when I entertain, I look at it from an event perspective, right? Mm -hmm. I design the table. From the table sets the tone for the rest of the environment. Right. Do the same thing with your home. Set the table. You might not need to do the living room as, ornate as you need to, right? You might not need to worry about the kitchen, or you might not need Nobody's to. Nobody's going to be in there anyway. They're going to be around. Correct. She said around the food. So, just one final question: How to be a good host? How to be a good guest? Oh, the guest part. Well, okay. Let's have a little drink before we answer that question. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Um, a good host, honestly, is just having first thing is make sure you've got an eclectic group of people coming. Right, I mean, so they can learn something about each other and get have them good to entertain and talk to each other and, and interact. I mean, find little ways to get spark that conversation. Right. You want them off that sofa, right? You don't yes. want yes, and not as in, much as in I adore you, I don't want to sit yeah. next to you for three hours and have that conversation, <laughs> right? You want them to move, spread your food around, right? Oh, good idea. Move the food. Move I the need food. to do that. I need to get the food out of the kitchen. That'd help. And then, as a good guest, what's the most important thing? As a good guest, is you know what? Don't think you're helping by bringing something without asking. That's a good point. So maybe just bring a, a hostess gift for later. A hostess gift is great or pick up the phone. Do you have everything? Can I Do bring you need anything? anything? The th That's one awesome. thing that drives me absolutely bonkers is I've set the table, I've staged it all perfectly. As you can probably tell, I'm a little methodical with you're, how it lays out. You're a perfectionist. The last thing that I need is someone to show up with their platter of whatever. And I have to figure He's out as an honest man. Thank you so much. <laughs> this has been so much fun. It's even more fun now that I'm, you know, enjoying the pomegranate champagne. After the break, Nancy Guppy has your weekend fun all planned out. Great ideas coming your way after this. This is so good.